What it do, YouTube? Your boy cut it in the building, man. Sooner the camera come on. You know what I'm saying? Putting it in y'all life. Man, look here, bro. <clears throat> y'all see the Magnum? Man, I posted on done a lot of vlogging about this one particular car right here. But, man, I be so busy. I be having so much traffic coming through. Like, man, I'm only getting to show y'all uh, the finished product. Man, listen. This car came to me on 32s from Virginia. And, uh, man, somebody else had done work to the car. I'm basically just had to go back and uh fix a whole lot of the stuff that was that was problems on the car and uh man like as y'all can see it got a new back bumper on it you know what i'm saying this little piece down here on the bottom I had to get that fenders and a uh, new front bumper like i replaced all that on the car so y'all down here. like i replaced all of this stuff on the car man <clears throat> i had to go and do all of this stuff to the car just simply because <laughs> just simply because man uh the shop who did the car they was going through some complications you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna say that the work was botched man but uh i think in the time in which this car was at the shop they suffered a a, a catastrophic loss and uh <sighs> You know, they tried to the best of their ability to finish the vehicle. But, man, this, this man has been through it with this car. He has really been through it with this car, man. Uh, man, this car got like 80,000 miles on it. Like, I can't make this up. This car got 80,000 miles on it. As you see, it looks like a brand new car on the inside. Like, bro, this is a brand new car. The reason why this car looks brand new is because it has not been driven. This car has bounced around from shop to shop to shop, getting work done to it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody trying to get it the well. You know what I'm saying? It'll perform and drive and everything like it's supposed to. And, uh, man, my guy came and found me on YouTube. We chopped it up, man. It, like, like, like my boy, uh, True Grit say, I just love this energy. Like, the energy was right. Man, we knew that we had to collab. And I told him, I said, man, you ain't got nothing to worry about. I don't care what's done to it. I can fix it. He had that faith in me. My boy Justin went and got it. Justin Reynolds, we drove to Virginia, or did he go to the Carolinas? He went to the Carolinas and picked it up. Brought it to me, you know what I'm saying? We got on the same page, we discussed what, you know what I'm saying, what all was wanted, what all was expected, and uh, man, look, he went through the process, even when we thought we was done, we was adding to the process, you get what I'm saying? But yeah, man, we here now. We've been driving this car. He loves the car, loves how it drives. You know what I'm saying? We went the extra mile today because he's driving this car back 10 plus hours on the highway. So that 80,000 miles gonna change real quick today. But yeah, man, like this car rides and drives and turns and performs exactly like he expected it to drive initially. I'm giving him what he what he wanted, you know what I'm saying, initially. Like I said, man, to cut it way, I recut all of the fenders, reshaped all of the fenders to give it that, that factory shape. It ain't got no exaggerated, uh, you know what I'm saying, diagonal, you know what I'm saying, cut lines. All inside, all of the fenders cleanly glossed out. Man, y'all see that gloss in there. Everything clean immaculate like immaculate the car is super soft like he got exactly what he wanted and uh man he's taking the car back to virginia today man like i said i was gonna i was gonna just really do a vlog on this car in the in the midst of us coming up with that plan that we was gonna vlog this car 
it was around the time Young Hot was getting sick, man. He's been a, a big supporter in, uh, in, in my dad's going through his struggle with his uh, counsel. You know what I'm saying? He called and check on my folks like they his folks, man. I can't thank this man enough. Like like I said, man, and the energy just there is it, there is right. You know what I'm saying? This this more than just a customer relationship now. You get what I'm saying? We locked in for life. But yeah, man. Long road. What about me? I was just playing with you. <laughs> <laughs> that Titus in the background talking mess. That talk don't bother me. Yeah, man. But uh, Titus back here cracking jokes, man. And like I said, man, y'all know how it is with cut it, man. Y'all ever hear everybody around me? We always cutting up, laughing, joking, having a good time, man. We still getting getting work done. Like, uh, man, y'all see, I'm back at my house. Uh, we ain't go to the gas station today because we've been doing a whole lot. I mean, to the car wash, we've we been doing a whole lot of. Stuff just getting him prepared for the road. We went and got the tires rebalanced. You know what I'm saying? We we just made sure that he wasn't gonna have no problems when he got out there running 80 to 90 through that Atlanta traffic. Yeah, yeah, gotta have it right. But yeah, man, like I said, the car been sitting for a long time, so the gas has started breaking down. You know, we getting all the kinks out. And I mean, you know, when somebody don't been this patient with you, you put forth that extra effort and make sure he well taken care of. You know what I'm saying? Hell, I'm down near roadside assistance for my guy right now if he need it. You feel me? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. You you within an hour of Atlanta and you need me, bro. Call him. I'm pulling up. But yeah, man. Like, my guy just expressed the consent to me of what his journey has been with this car to get this car where it is. Now, with that being said, man, these different color fenders don't mean nothing for those of y'all who, who have never built a car. It'd be a lot of them trolls on the internet. You know what I'm saying? It'd be like, why you shoot a video for that car? And he got all them different kind of fenders and stuff on there. Bro, listen, man, we build cars. We ain't buying no car somebody don't know already did. You feel me? We ain't just buying a car and putting some 24s on it and saying we got a custom car. Like, bro, we build custom cars. So it's going to be times when you catch us in transition from one step to a next step. I mean, bro, that's why I give so much, uh, you know what I'm saying? I guess uh, homage to them boys down there in Florida. Them boys down there in Florida drop a whole car in less than six months. And it's been ran through top to bottom, inside out. Man, a, a lot of places don't have, you know what I'm saying, that, uh, that, that liberty to be able to, to have enough shops in your area where you could do that. A lot of times it ain't about the money. I know people that got plenty of bag and we just can't do what other places could do just because our area, what our area can and can't provide. Like I said, man, this man all the way from Virginia, it's a 10 and a half hour drive for him to come down here and holler at me and then get right and then go back home. Like a lot of times, bro, you have to reach out there. You have to go out there and go get that good work. Man, with that being said, man, like I said, hey, you know what I'm saying? I love the feeling when somebody really genuinely appreciate the effort that I put into making sure that they all the way right, man. And then, like I said, uh, my guy right here, this, this all lot of, it's all the energy I don't ever receive from him. I'm talking about, like, on a brother level. You get what I'm saying? He let me know that, cut it, I appreciate you. All the little extra, you know what I'm saying, stuff, you know what I'm saying, because uh, man, the folks that sold me them these these parts, bruh, I, I thought he was gonna have to cop a flight to pull up down hill so I can toss him a pair of boxing gloves and me put the other set on and we go in there and work these folks out, bro. Because man, bro, they had me spending two three hundred dollars worth of gas running back and forth up the highway, messing with these folks, giving me the wrong parts or telling me they got the parts off and I drive all the way down there wasting time and they ain't have it situated. You get what I'm saying, bro? But it's, it's, it's part of it. My guy got to do a lot of riding around with me uh, today while we was getting him all the way situated. He met Chris, uh, you know, the welding guy. Man, he met everybody but Bobby. Let's just say that. I forgot when we was talking about that earlier, I forgot you met Chris. Like, he, he got to meet a lot of people. Brian at the rim shop. You know what I'm saying? Rebalance the tires for him. Cheap. And got the man riding good. 
super satisfied, 100%. So yeah, man, like, like, man, y'all come come get with cut it, man. I'm I'm in the business of really trying to help people spend the least amount of money and get the most effect out of the out of the least amount of money that they spend, bro. Me and my partner then was talking about that the other day. Well, we was talking about how people be like, well, I spent ten thousand dollars for this paint, but your stuff is regular or less than regular. It's not about how much you spend. It's about the quality of the work. I would feel more comfortable telling somebody I got a $3,000 paint job that looks like a $15,000 paint job than me be saying I paid $10,000 for a paint job that looked like a $1,000 paint job. You get what I'm saying, man? Y'all get y'all stuff together, bro. Just because you got money don't mean you got swag. It's just, that's just how it is. You feel me? Hey, I, can, I can go spend... You know what I'm saying? Five, ten thousand dollars on a whole bunch of crap, and it don't look like nothing. And then somebody come through killing me. They don't spend a third of the bag. Just what it is, man. Y'all do y'all research. Let me put the finger in front of the camera. Y'all do y'all research now, and figure out where you going and who you dealing with. Uh, what my man said today. He said, man, I spent all that money getting my motor built, and uh. But put everything in it and blah 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 blah. We go to crank the motor up. I ain't got no compressor. Hey man, you, you gotta do your homework. You gotta know who you dealing with. Is he a fluke? Did he get one right and mess up 20? You get what I'm saying? Like you gotta know. Man, this car stuff is not easy. If you a spectator, but you ain't actually in the game, if you a bench warmer and you ain't on the field, you don't know nothing about these hits. You feel me? You don't know nothing about about the blows we have to take and the extra dumb money that we have to spend that you can't even see. My man probably at 10 grand on getting this suspension and lift way is supposed to be, well, $1,500 to $2,500 should have killed the whole thing. But people ain't got respect for that. You get what I'm saying? Especially the, the folks it's going the, the easy way out, 24s and 26s. Yeah, I'm talking about y'all. Clean. Everybody clean, bro. Everybody can make something clean, bro. You got to, you feel me? All these excuses about 24s and 26s. It's, it's whatever. It's up there. Y'all know how your boy do it. I'm Mr. Yo rims is way too small. You need to cut it. That dude. I'm 24s and... 26 is on these big large cars and stuff like that man that's real cute i don't care how much you said you spent for your 26 is it cute cute to me i ain't you know what i'm saying hey, hey it is what it is to each his own bro like i ain't really trying to you know what i'm saying bash nobody uh you know what i'm saying stuff but i feel like you know what i'm saying for us they still into the big wheels and and stuff like that i feel like man people got excuses for them not putting forth the effort that's how i feel it was a dude online the other day that got some 28 by 12 real barrels uh i think they were some billets on the ss monte carlo brother buddy tucked in squatted so damn fucked up and bro ain't no way the only, only way that happened is when you spend a bag yeah he could have did the easy stuff and put some 24s up on the door and you know what i'm saying but when, when that dude car come out he ain't gonna the, the the commotion that that dude car should have when it come out i hope it come out all the way out because the other dude with the ss monte carlo man we we got to see it but we didn't get to see it i want to see buddy hey, hey look bro if anybody no dude that i'm talking about because i think he might be from texas or whatever they got the ss monte carlo with them gold uh 28 by 12 tucked in like that Man, tell buddy I'm on his side. I can't wait to see him drop that pressure. The game need that, bro. The car game getting so watered down, man, with everybody just creating the same car over and over and over. It be 10 of the same car, same color, same rims. So you don't know if it's the same dude. Oh, no, man. You, you know, I'm the dude with the gold pinstripe, not the silver pinstripe. I'm killing him. Bro, he ain't killing nothing, bro. Y'all boy twin sisters. Man, come on, bro. The car game getting boring, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't saying that it's because people got little rims or blah, 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 blah. I'm just saying the, the jacking. 
You feel me? Like everybody do your own thing, have your own sauce, quit looking at somebody else's car for inspiration. You get what I'm saying? We need diversity in the car game. We need some people with big rims. We need some people with with with, with smaller rims. Like we need that diversity. Bro, I seen a dude car that had some a uh, Crown Vic. I know y'all hate Crown Vicks. I like them. You feel me? Like I'm not I'm not biased against nothing. But it had 26 cents floaters. 26 cents floaters and like either hydraulics or air ride on an outrageous uh crown vic when i say dude was well, clean he different bro he didn't go the same route everybody else and better car laying frame on 26s and it didn't look like one of them cars where you was like okay such 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 bro this car looked like it could have been a regular everyday hood car on 26s until he hit the button and dumped that thing on the ground i was like oh my god you know what I'm saying? But it really came out. He killing. But yeah, man. Y'all know how I like to get in front of the camera and count. You know what I'm saying? We touched on a lot of stuff today. And uh man, just it, it is what it is. Yellow trying his best to get on YouTube. Get yourself out of there, boy. Walk all in. He he walk, he was finna walk across the camera. Oh, goodness, stand right there by the point. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Look how high it is. Hey, but yeah, man. Hey, y'all see it, man. Like I said, another satisfied customer. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I, I got somebody that always seem to have something bad to say about your guy, and I ain't studying nothing that you feel me. Like, bro, I, I, I put y'all in the driver's seat. Ain't nobody else did that. I'm in the car with the camera rolling. You feel me? So, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you like this, man. What you got for him? I'm, as, as you can see, I'm all about quality. I, I came ten hours, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? The, the people going, the people going to speak for you. Yeah. You know yeah. What I mean? Yeah. I know that. I, I know mean, that. And I'm a vouch for you, man. Like you said, I've been from shop to shop to shop, and um, it's been three years in the making, man. And I and I found you on YouTube. Right. And I came down here. I, like you said, I told you what my expectation was. We chopped it up and we came to a conclusion. And you got me right, bro. Yeah. I'm right. I'm solid. I'm about to take this 10 hour trip back to Virginia from Alabama, Talladega, Alabama. Yeah. I feel comfortable doing that. You know what I'm saying? I've never felt comfortable driving this car until now. Yeah. After the after going through two other shops. So <clears throat> I'm a customer. <clears throat> I'm standing here right next to this man. Yeah. And I'm putting my stamp on him, man. I've been in this game. Crown Vic was my first car. I put some 24s on. Hey, you know look here, look here. <clears throat> so I've been doing this for a minute. Yep. I know what I know. You know what I'm saying? I ain't. I don't do this this rim shit. So I don't. I don't yeah. be lifting the cars. You know what I mean? Right. <clears throat> but I know who, who. I know good work from bad work. You know what I mean? And um, we all at different points in the learning process. Yeah. And you know, after building with you, I understand that, and I got the perspective. So I don't have I don't have a, 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 a bad taste in my mouth about other shops now. Right. That I got that perspective. You know what I mean? I, I'm glad he touched base on that, man. Because I he feeding off something that I said, and I'm finna feed off something that he said. It's about growing our car culture, right. our car culture, not dividing right. our car culture and our people. Right. You get what I'm saying? I started this video off by saying. I'm not going to say that he had a botch lift, but now I understand in this full totality that during the build of this car, the shop went through something. And just because it's a shop don't mean that a shop doesn't have personal discrepancies that happen within the walls of the shop, whether it's with the staff or or this was the actual owner of the shop that, that, that you, you get what I'm saying, that went through something. And it's just one of them things. You get what I'm saying? People come to me like I'm more than just human. Like nothing bad happens to me. I am a regular, normal guy. I have problems just like everybody else. But people's uh, belongings are in my hands. But that don't mean that people shouldn't have the respect about I, what I if I have something going on in my personal life. You get what I'm saying? Right. And, uh, I, you know, I just wanted to touch base on it. But, you know, uh, the 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 bashing not one time have i shot bashed anybody by name i might have talked about some bad work but i didn't never put a shop name to any kind of bad work you get what i'm saying 
Now, like I said, it, it's some stuff that's been said and blah, 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 blah. Man, listen, I under, I understand it, even the same person that's, that's talking bad about me. I understand in its full totality that it's not always the 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 person producing the results. Sometimes it's the customer. He might have begged somebody to come all the way in with some money that they didn't have to come all the way in with. But when the shit hit the fan, they turned around and point the finger at him. You get what I'm saying? That's why if somebody say, oh, such and such, such and such did this and blah, 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 woo, 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 woo. You know what I'm saying? I'm not just going to run off of what the customer say until I see what the hell going on myself. You get what I'm saying? And that's a professional courtesy. And I ain't got to bash nobody to get no work because good work speak for itself. Exactly. Now, let me tell you something else, too. Like I said, with the customer, bro, sometimes it's just crazy. Man, I got a lot of people pulling up, man. Like I said, I be busy all the time, man. Y'all see the workflow. What? Come, come on and get your come on and get your butt in front of the camera, then. Not you. Be what? Like I said, we don't play. Oh, Sean finna get you for copyright. You know Sean finna get down here in the comments say, "Hey, I don't know who he talking like." <laughs> Sean finna get you for copyright and friends me, but man, hey. Man, like I said, man, y'all try to grow the culture. You feel me? Like, man, for real, uh, stereotypes and, and hatred really from, from, from us to us is really killing our car culture and killing our culture That's as cool. black people. Right. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not right. saying that this is a black thing. That's not at all what I'm saying. Right. Because all different cultures of people and all different races of people you know what I'm saying? Are building the same cars that we are building right now. Even in Japan. If y'all think I'm lying, y'all go look at uh Platinum Player went over there. I think Whip Addict went over there. Like, bro, we have a big rim car culture in Japan. We also have a big rim car culture in Saudi Arabia. We also have a big rim car culture in Australia. Now y'all think I'm lying, bro. Get on YouTube. Look it up. Yeah, it's up there. Look it up, bro. I ain't gotta lie. Man, listen, this started from us, and it's growing, it, even if it have to grow slowly on other people, it had it had to start somewhere. You get what I'm saying? The thing about it is, don't break our car culture down because of crazy stereotypes or, or people making, man, like, like uh, the excuses, man. The excuses just getting out of hand now, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody that, that could only buy some 26s bashing somebody because they could afford to buy some 30s. I mean, 32s. And then at the end of the day, the dude on 32s car probably drive better than the dude car on 26s. You get what I'm saying? Stop doing it. Get your mind up. Do your research. Put your stuff together and try to put it together right. Man, y'all stop trying to go out the cheap way too. And I'm so tired of the, the, the spin a wheel, make a deal type dudes. Bro, I'm in this... You know what I'm saying? Not, you know what I'm saying, for 100% favors. Don't get me wrong. I don't mind looking out for nobody. But ain't nothing about this free. So if you decide on something, and then once you see the product of what you decided and you decide you don't like it, I don't supposed to take a loss to fix a decision that you made. If you want it changed up, you have to pay to pay for that that differential. Oh, uh, dang, I, I used the word wrong. But y'all y'all get what I'm saying, bro. You get what I'm saying? If you want it different... Even after you made a decision, if it's gonna cost me money, please believe it's gonna cost you money. You feel me? But man, yeah, man, like I said, man, y'all heard my guy. You know what I'm saying? You hitting I, I really gave y'all a lot of game today. We really had church in here today, and it's been a minute since I just jumped on the camera and really had church. You feel me? Man, y'all can take all this stuff I said today to the bank. And that's what you gonna get from me every single time, bro. Cut it. Cut it custom to cut it way. Bro, if you ever have any problem, man, listen. I'm the type of dude that I have people hit me up off of my channel and they just need help. You get what I'm saying? And then Some of them. Wrong, that's what it's about. Like, that's what it's about. Right. Bro. You know right. what I mean? Like, we would be so much stronger, so much better if we could just come together. Bro. Yeah. There ain't nothing wrong with calling a man up and saying, how you do this? Or can you give me a little bit of uh, uh, guidance? Insight. On that anything, insight, bro. bro. Yeah. yeah. Man, like, the, the thing the thing that I hate, man, is when somebody try to hit me with the BS. Mm -hmm. You trying to con me into telling you something because you don't think that I would be the person to tell you. Now, I ain't going to tell y'all no lie. Some stuff is a trademark secret. Right. I'll take it to the grave. Yeah, 
can't because I really don't want nobody else to, to, to get hip to what I got going on. Right. But something that you know, like somebody come to me on my channel now, I ain't, I'm not I'm not finna tell y'all this because I want y'all to try to use me. I'm just telling y'all how people feel energy. Hey, bro, I'm a subscriber because I can check into that. I can see when you subscribe. And I've been subscribed to your channel since the first month. Bro, I see you do good work. I watch all of your videos. But, man, I'm way out here in El Paso, Texas. And the only thing I got is a Lincoln Town call on 26s, man. But I'm not seeming to get a full turn or such and such and such. such or my, I don't really like how my car ride or... Somebody told me I could put these kind of springs on the back. What do you think about it? I'm going to give them my professional opinion because I've done it. I've tried it. Or I know people who've done it. I know how to produce the results. Like I said, I got I got other videos dropping. I don't know what I don't know what uh, order I'm going to put these videos in. But man, I got a guy. I just put some 30 inch uh, brush dub wheels on a Lincoln Town car. Matter of fact, this is two days after I shot that video where I'm shooting this video right here. So he just got his car back two days ago. The very first thing bro say when he get out of the car is, man, this motherfucker ride like it ain't even got no fucking rims on it. This bitch feel factory. That's what I do. That's what I'm trying to accomplish. Every car. I don't want you to have none of the stereotypes. You get what I'm saying? Man, listen. Like I said, if it's something I can do to provide you with what you need in order for you to enjoy your car, for you to be out there keeping our culture strong, pulling up at the shows, or, or breaking stereotypes in your area, you get what I'm saying? If people saying, oh, I bet you that car drive like crap, but then you confident enough in your vehicle to be like, hey, why don't you ride down the street with me real quick? Right. You feel me? That's the stuff that changes people's mind about something that they were, I ain't going to say ignorant about, but just not, hmm, how to word that? Not, not, not up on the subject as you are. Not as into the, you know what I'm saying, into the culture as you are. Like I said, man, it's just, it's just the lack of knowledge thereof. If you don't know, you don't know. It's a big difference between sardines and caviar. Put yourself in that, in that, in that, put yourself in that, you know what I'm saying? Situation where you can differentiate. You can tell the difference between both of them, and then you can put that information out there for somebody else. But just speculating, that's what haters do. I bet you that food nasty, but you ain't never had none. That's a hater move, bro. That's a hater move. Go out there and get them folks an opportunity. You might be bad mouthing something that you have no idea what you're talking about, and you turning other people against it. When you don't even really know the logistics of what you're talking about. Get your get your stuff together, man. Put big facts out there. Put the big facts out there. Like hey man, you gotta hey, hey, you gotta know. Like I say, I say it all the time, bro. This is not a spectator sport. Go get that bag, go spin that bag, and then you can tell everybody else what they don't know. Because it's gonna show. Yeah, it's yeah. Time gonna reveal you. Yeah, yeah. Time gonna let you time gonna show everything. The work part aspect of it and the investment aspect of it you know what i mean so just keep it real with yourself at the end of the day yeah you know what i mean man you'll be so much happier with yourself keeping it real yeah. with yourself all these excuses and all this old other stuff man you gonna disappoint you and other people for real bro we out here another hot sweaty humid day in alabama Alabama heat hit different. Hey, I keep telling you. Tell hey. <laughs> no, 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 no. I thought we was hot in Virginia. No, it's hot down here, bro. It's a different kind of hot. Crazy. Yeah. Look, tell them about the forecast on the first day. Man. Before you came down here, what the forecast they said. said Y'all was going to have a thunderstorm. All day. <laughs> My boy jumped on the road and came down here. We checked the forecast six hours later. What did it say? No rain in the But forecast. naked. Man, I be telling y'all, bro, Alabama crazy. Man, you gotta come. You gotta come get that first-hand experience, bro. I, you know what I'm saying? I be it's not. You know, I don't know if people be thinking a lot of the stuff that I be saying. I be making up, bro. I be dead ass, bro. I screenshot it, yep. the forecast, yep. and sent it to him before we got on the road. Ten hours. Sure did. He got on the road by three a.m., two a.m. that morning. 
3 a.m. that morning. I was up with him. Well, I was up about an hour later. I looked at the forecast again when I woke up. I said, man, you ain't gonna believe this shit here. <laughs> you ain't gonna believe it. Bruh, in, in six, what it was, six, six to eight hours, the whole forecast oh, completely changed. Yeah. Butt naked. No rain. Sun been out of air since then. God is good, bro. And bro, if you ain't staying hydrated down here, you gonna sweat your whole ass off. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. Hey, well, we don't have church today. <laughs> I ain't lying. But look, man, hey, look. Hey, y'all know I'm finna hit y'all with some more. Y'all know what it is. Man, just stay up with me. That's about all I can tell you. I, I slowed down for a reason, but I'm slowly picking my pieces back up. And man, I, I'm, I'm finna start hitting y'all with some more content. Like, like, hey, it, it might, it might, it, it once I, you will know when I when I take back off again. You gonna know. I'm gonna make y'all feel it. Your shop keep fucking up. You need to cut it. I ain't lying. Y'all heard my boy. That's the remix. Hey, I got a lot of remix for y'all, man. My boy Torn on gave me a, a new uh a new slogan. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know I'm I'm squat king around. Bro said, man, you be having them boys took like they stuck. Hey, I'm hey man, like look, copyright. Let me catch somebody else out there stealing my stuff. Yay. But yeah, man, I'm out of this thing, bro. Y'all know what it is, bro. It's been a good long 30 minute video, man. True Grit told me to get some long video. Man, y'all check my boy True Grid out. Man, y'all check Sheldon out. Man, y'all go check Sprayway out. Man, y'all go check Black Rain out. Man, uh, bro, I had to keep giving it, man. It credit right here, bro, because I'm a fan now. Uh, Sugar Man on it. Uh, man, let me see who else. Uh, uh, D Glizzy, JR Films. You know what I'm saying, bro? If I missed anybody, it ain't because I ain't fucking with you. It's because I'm hot. I'm about to pass out out here. So, man, look, man, we're going to run with the motto, baby. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know who it is. Cut it in the building, baby. The motto stay the same. Good work. Yes, sir.